IKEA gave me a sofa and a couple of uh, covers and said, you know, let's come up with something. The pattern is derived from a memory of my nana's sofa when I was a child. Well, they gave me three. They gave me three um, covers. So immediately I thought, oh, if I was going to do something crazy, I'd be sewing the covers together to make an Uber cover and then put the Uber cover on and then paint it. It seemed perfectly suited to expressing one of my print patterns um, basically on fabric. I like the idea of sort of it being a mobile couch and being able to move. And so that's why I put these wheels on it here. I'm actually going to sew these in underneath the cover um, so that when people sit on them, they squeak. And the idea is they squeak like a duck. But I've sort of had to pull back a little bit just because of the nature of the project and people will be buying it. Like I don't go to art shops, I go to Bunnings when I want to make artwork. A lot of my street artwork is based on stickers. Plywood, masonite. Stamps. Perspex. Paste ups. Found signs. Anything I can get my hands on really. So, what I do is I take my little drawings. I've enlarged my drawings and I cut the negative shapes from them, which then I place on the fabric screen print whoop, with the ink, textile ink, lift them off and then you get these nice negative shapes. So here are my little stencil sheets looking very abstract. And then I just line them all up with the, with the florals and um, spray paint the, the colours in. And it does start out quite conceptually. I mean lots of designers just start free associating on paper straight away. Just kind of, they become inspired by the process. Whereas I tend to spend a lot of time doing research, looking at images, um, researching pictures off the net or looking through books or old photographs. I suppose it, it also has something to do with collecting memories. I have had a very interesting relationship with the concept of home. You know, being married to an architect means that the home is something that's always evolving. Um, they are sometimes workrooms, sometimes sets. That's what the home should be. Sometimes uh, places to have a party or just to have fun. That have half painted walls and colour swatches and, and different artwork and broken lights and ladders that lead to weird places or bookshelves or do you know what I mean? I really love those kind of houses. 